For the first time ever on Big Boy Sports, we will be talking soccer. Yes, soccer. Yes, I know. Now, the key thing here is that I'm not going to be talking like the Euro Leagues, the MLS, or anything like that. I think I made it very clear that I do want to talk about two leagues, at least. Bare, bare, bare maximum at this point, as far as two leagues are concerned. And that is the end of USL, which finished up their championship last night behind USL Championship. It actually went a little bit over into 90 minutes, um, you know, due to some stoppages. But Barbara Banda got the goal 37 minutes in. Uh, Martha wins her first ever championship. You know, it took her eight years. A lot of, of storylines were going on with the pride, you know, players and everything like that. Washington was the plucky underdog. They played their hearts out. And, you know, this is a great game. Although, you know, there was a little, there was a little bit of a, some, some, some rough shenanigans, you know. Um, but, uh, again, NWSL fans, you are now on this channel. And this channel tells you, well, ref ball does not discriminate. So just play better next time. But, I mean, the, but, I mean it was a great game, um, you know. There was lots of downtime, you know, in this game, you know, because the players are just doing their best to try and get that ball into the goal net. Um, again, not a lot of penalties were enforced. Again, that was just the ref ball, you know, just being ref ball. You know, there should have been way more penalties enforced, to be quite honest with you. I don't think I don't know the rules of soccer. I do know the rules of soccer. Um, again, I've just been never truly been interested until, you know, this past couple of years. I've never really truly been invested or interested until the last couple of years. And the NWSL was the perfect opportunity to, you know, get 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 some things, you know, going as far as me talking about soccer is concerned. Uh, and with that, you know, the NWSL has done some interesting things, like they've eliminated the draft, um, uh, you know, there are some new expansion targets. You know, the league is trying to get to, you know, the, you know, the minimum of what, 16 teams, but there are 14 right now, you know. Well, you know, Boston won't be coming until 2026, so, you know. Uh, the Boston Nation FC, which, again, a lot of people were like, oh, well, that, the name doesn't really make any sense, but all right, you know. But it's all a good fun, I think. The NWSL's momentum with all the partners that they have, they have Amazon, they have you know ESPN, they have CBS, they have the Ion channel, which, I mean, again, Ion is making a great investment into women's sports, and I hope they continue that, you know. Hint, hint, I hope it's volleyball. I hope it's volleyball. I hope CW2, you know, gets... It's that volleyball. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? There is another league I do want to talk about, and it will basically be the primary focus of this channel for the next couple months while the NWSL, while we wait for the NWSL to, you know, get themselves, you know, back into the track, and that is the major arena soccer league. Now, this is another one of those sports, you know, arena soccer. This is one of the, this is another one of those sports where you know, um, uh, yeah, the, the 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 stories and and the and the craziness behind the sport, you know, greatly outweighs you know whatever actually happens on the field and stuff like that. So you know, sometimes, um, you know, the NWSL is a twelve team league. You know, I mean not. So the MASL is a 12-team league. 24 games will be played. The playoffs will be in April. Um, you know, there are still being some guys announced right now. We're, we're five days and a little bit over. We're a little bit over five days away from the season starting. Uh, the Texas Outlaws have a new ownership group. You know, they rather they have some new guys joining the ownership. Uh, you know, 
Some new coaches have been announced. Um, not a lot of stuff going on on the free agency tracker, so just keep that in mind. You know, the Texas Outlaws announced so many different changes, and this is one of the teams I will be supporting in the MASL, along with the Dallas Sidekicks. Again, you know, the, these 12 teams, you know, are, are really intriguing. The All-Star Games in February, it'll be, you know, it'll be interesting. The St. Louis Ambush, the Baltimore Blast, Utica City FC, the Kansas City Comets, the Harrisburg Heat. Again, my outlaws, my Sidekicks, the Chihuahua Sandwich, which is in Mexico, the San Diego Soccers, the Tacoma Stars, the Empire Strikers, and the Milwaukee Wave are our teams in this league. And again, you know, season starts on Black Friday between Kansas City and St. Louis, and it should be a very fun time, you know. Um, but you're probably wondering, well, what other soccer, you know, could, you know, could I potentially add? I could potentially add some other, you know, stuff to the full like college soccer which is about to go into its conference tournaments and stuff like that and the national tournament but at the end of the day i'm not sure if i really want to because again there's so many soccer players that don't play in college that's the big thing there's so many soccer players that get you know draft that get drafted and signed and whatever that do not play in college they don't they don't play in college. They've been playing since like they were 10, 11 years old in, in, in small leagues, you know, from like your childhood and stuff like that, going on into like junior leagues and all this different stuff. And the world of soccer is so big and so complex with things like promotion and relegation. The MLS, you know, again, I've kept up with the MLS, not in the traditional sense of me actually watching it, but in the sense of, what in the world kind of media deal do you have? Again, I'm very interested in media deals and stuff like that. That's what I've always been very interested in. So the fact that the MLS signed their soul to Apple, you know, with a few Fox games sprinkled in there, of course, um, is very interesting. And they don't all follow pro rail and their playoff structure is very weird. And the league itself is just not a great league to watch. You know, you know, you have one of the greatest players in the world, Messi, you know, on Miami FC, and they got knocked out of the playoffs. <laughs> Crazy. The MLS Cup playoffs, you know, the championship is on the 7th of the 7th, but am I going to be watching that? Absolutely not. I'm not. I'm not going to be watching that. Um, the MASL is on Twitch for the most part. Um, that's where games were last year. That's where I'll be, you know, kind of just kind of watching this year, you know, and trying to do as best as I can as far as watching the MASL goes. And it's going to be a long season. Again, you know, these teams, you know, are, are fighting for a championship. The uh, champion from uh, this past season in the MASL, you know, was uh, was I think it was? Don't quote me. Don't quote me yet. Don't quote me. Um, just give me a second. Just give me a second. You know. Um, let me see. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was the Chihuahua Savage, right? Yeah. Uh, that, that was that was the champions from the Ron Newman Cup finals. And again, the MASL playoffs and stuff like that, you know, it should be, should take all April for the most part. I hope it doesn't take the entirety of April, but uh, I'm just going to be real with you. It probably will. Um, and again, we'll be talking, you know, soccer throughout the year, you know, and everything like that. So, you know, prepare for a lot more videos on soccer and stuff like that, you know, um, because, again, I'm excited, you know, to see one of the best sports in the world, you know, on a, you know, minor scale and an emerging national scale. So, you know, similar to how I talk about volleyball or the WNBA or the PWHL, you know, I wanted to incorporate more women's sports onto the channel anyway. 
and talk about these great female athletes that sacrifice their bodies for our entertainment and are slowly gaining momentum, you know, in this weird age of streaming, you know, mixed with cable and OTA TV and, you know, soccer, again, one of the, one of the sports that just anybody could just pick up and play very easily. Well, I wouldn't say pick up because you can't pick up the ball unless you're a goalkeeper, but it's one of the easiest sports to play, you know, as far as getting, you know, costs low and, you know, keeping costs low, keeping things, you know, at, at a reasonable price. You don't even need, you don't even need the crazy amount of jerseys either. You know, you know MASL is like six on six, you know? Uh, so yeah, that'll do it for me as far as soccer is concerned. You know, I'm going to, get on out of y'all's hair and talk about something else. You know, we got a lot of things to talk about this morning. So we're probably going to do a triple play, you know, videos, you know, over the next couple of days and stuff like that, you know. Um, yeah, so that'll do it for me. Um, I'm going to get on about y'all's hair and talk to you later.